Thanks for joining us on CFC TV. Well, Carlton has finalised its team ahead of Sunday night's clash with Essendon at the MCG. Vice captain Andrew Carazzo will play his first match of the season after overcoming a calf injury. The Blues will also regain Andrew Walker, who returns from suspension, while Brock McLean and Kane Lucas have been omitted. Essendon's coming off a narrow loss to the Hawks, while Carlton is still chasing its first win of the season. Coach Mick Malthouse says he's expecting a tough battle against the old rival. We will go into the game with uh, a bit of confidence from bits and pieces of our games over the last two weeks. We, we know we haven't had the complete game. We know we're also against a side that, that ran last year's Premiers right to the death, so it won't be easy. But I don't know if there's any easy games this year. So you just take who you play next and you just give what you can, and we will be doing that. The big news, of course, this week is that Matthew Cruiser is set to have surgery on his injured foot and will be out for up to three months. The Ruckman did train this week, but football operations manager Andrew McKay says he was still experiencing significant pain. So we had a long meeting with um, club doctor and Matthew today and also involved his specialist, of course. We think the best course of action is that he actually gets the foot fixed up once and for all, goes into surgery and has the uh, surgery, which will mean that he's going to be out for somewhere between 12 and 14 weeks, which is uh, really disappointing, but certainly is the best thing for Matthew and best thing for the club. Some good news this week. Bryce Gibbs has been nominated for the AFL's Goal of the Year for his brilliant goal from the boundary in the dire minutes of the Round 2 clash with Richmond. You can vote on Bryce's goal by following the links from the Carlton website. Meanwhile, Dylan Buckley received the AFL's Rising Star nomination for Round 2. The son of Carlton great Jim Buckley says the advice from his dad is to try to back it up this week. Oh, I think he's just, it's like any parent, I think he's just probably pretty proud. Um, he's told me he's got to try and get a kick next week, so can't just have one, one game and then not do much the week after. And don't forget, the Carlton Carnival returns to Busy Park this weekend to coincide with the team's open training session. There'll be games for the kids' face painting and a sausage chisel, while Carlton great Ken Hunter will make a special guest appearance. Details are on the Carlton website. We hope to see you there.